for the guys this Blake, and as I teased last week, today we are working on the sequel to Shelly Shelf in the Shell. This is a pretty old video, the first one that I made back in 2016, and we are here today with the sequel. And I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do a sequel for the longest time, because even though I loved the first one, as you guys might remember, at the ending of the first one, like when filming it, his shell broke in half. So I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do a sequel even though I really wanted to. And then I grew up and realized, wait a minute, the internet exists. I can buy a shell anywhere for like two bucks. And now here it is with the sequel. And I think that the script was really funny and I can't wait to start working on Shelly Shelton Shell 2. So let's get started. It matters because it's not you. And that was way too mad. And completely turned into a different species. And I was not supposed to say completely. Second cousins, but fine. Ugh, you millennials with your... And I forget the rest of my line. Done! Y'all on it. And you can't even understand me there. I'm giving one-star Yelp reviews to every restaurant I visited within the past week. And I forgot to say single. Because they're all ugly losers who live in their parents' basements. And that sounded way too angry. First of all, of course they live in their parents' basement. They're teenagers. And my hands are not supposed to be here right now. Actually, it serves you right. I did this on your account, and what kind of lawyer would actually believe that? And I was not supposed to say kind of. No. The computer says I already know the name of the man suing me. It's the same guy who sued my mom last night for stealing from his... And I said last night and not last month. Turning this into your art homework. And I said this and not it. What did you expect from me to use a pencil? And that was not my line. You're right, this picture will flatter my teacher. As you can see, we have math prompts in the background and a circle drawn on it with the words stupid, lonely, empathetic drawn in on the side surrounding it. And this is honestly the best picture I have ever created. I am so proud of this. So yes, I hope this does flatter somebody. Because this is the best thing I have ever drawn. I can't. It's permanent. Marker. And I was not supposed to take a pause before I said permanent and marker. You should be sorry. Sorry for all the other kids who won't be able to live up to your grade. We're just going to pretend that didn't happen. Wait, so I can still pass through class? And my hands are not supposed to be here right now. So... Because all of my friends said that they were dead when I asked them if they wanted to hang out. And I forget the rest of my line. Shelly, you can't run for president. And my arms are not supposed to be like this right now. Why? Because I have a criminal record? Because I enjoy dropping the babies that I hold? Because I like taking old people off healthcare just for the fun of it? And I forget the rest of my line. Hey guys, so for those of you who don't know, sometimes in a video when we have somebody talking in the background or over the phone, we will record that for the behind the scenes video and then put that in the main video later on. We did this a few weeks ago in the imposter part three with all of the YouTube videos that Sal was showing Blake, and we are doing that today with Shelly Shelton the Shell announcing his candidacy for president of the United States. So we are about to film that, so that will be in the next clip. My fellow Americans and the mole people that live underneath us, my name is Shelly Shelton the Shell, and if you don't vote for me, then you're a dweeb. And since nobody wants to be dweeb, the polls show that every single American plans on voting for me in November, including the other candidates. And I was supposed to say even the other candidates and not including the other candidates. Well, now that it has become clear that I will be elected president in November, it is now finally time. And that was starting to sound a little too mad. Well, Shelly, is there anything you would like to say to me? Then I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. No. What would I even say to you? And I was not supposed to say even. Although, I do have one more surprise for you. And I was not supposed to say it that slowly. Well, just like with the Yelp reviews, I did it on your computer and used your picture for my dating profile because you said I couldn't use the shrimp. And I forget the rest of my line. Well, bad news for you, Shelly. And I don't like the way I said that. Actually, I'm not. I'm so small that when I run away, the police won't see me escape. And as a human, you don't have that luxury. Although, to be fair, you are a really small human. And I was supposed to say embarrassingly small and not really small. Well, 
now I finally know what mom feels. And I was supposed to say how mom feels and not what mom feels. Keep your hands in the air, and if you even think about pulling that and wave them like you just don't- And I was not supposed to start waving them like I just don't care. Wait a minute. If Shelly can escape the police, so can I. Because Shelly is definitely taller than me. A Dunkin' Donuts? We need to check this out. And I was supposed to say have to check this out and not need to check this out. If we get a box of donuts, do you promise to still be here when we get back? And I was supposed to say return and not get back. Of course. And I was not supposed to do this. Hey guys, so because the first Shelly broke apart in the middle of production on the first video, I always kind of worried about what would happen if the new Shelly broke apart in, in the middle of production on this video. Because yes, I would still be able to film with it if it was broken, but right now it looks very natural, and if it was broken, yes, I would still be able to film with it, but it would be breaking apart a lot as I would be trying to film with it, and it would just overall make things a lot harder than it has to be. And then I went to the beach this summer, and I found this Shelly. This one I bought online, but I was at the beach and I found this, and I just figured, God forbid anything ever happened to this Shelly, this will be our replacement. They look a little bit different, but I think it's similar enough where it would be a good replacement instead of just trying to hold it together as I'm filming with it, which would just look pretty fake in the ending. So here is Shelly and his replacement. The replacement to the replacement. So that is a wrap on Shelly Shelton the sequel. Thank you all so much for watching and tell me in the comments below if you would ever want another sequel, Shelly Shelton the Shell 3, because I have so many more ideas for adventures between the two of them. So if their paths ever cross again with him now the president of the United States, then I would love to put them into play. And his shell is not broken yet. So unless anything happens behind the scenes after we're done filming, then he is good to go for another episode. And even if he does break, I now know what the internet is, so I could just pay two bucks buying another shell. So thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so very much, and I'll see you all next Friday in a brand new skit. And he will see you possibly in another video down the line. Bye. Hey guys, so thank you all so much for watching this week's new video. To see the main video, then watch Shelly Shelton the Shell 2. And to see part 1 of that, then watch Shelly Shelton the Shell. And to see the previous behind the scenes video, then watch Something Big is Coming Behind the Scenes, which was the behind the scenes for Do You Even Lift Bro. And to see the three part of vlog we just made, then watch Cruise Ship Adventures part 1, off the main part 2, and Coming to Canada part 3. So thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so very much, and I'll see you all next Friday in a brand new skit. Bye. I just love how anybody who ever discovers my channel can now just come across a video of a 14 year old talking to a shell for 10 minutes straight. So, living the dream.